Hey guys, I'm Rose Vane, and welcome back to another episode of uh, VLR, Virtue's Last Reward, or Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. Last episode, we basically started uh, getting into this bay, Gollum Bay, I think it was called. Gollum, Gollum Bay. Where we're in a room with an android robot that we turned on in the last episode. It has Red's eyes now, like a uh, Terminator. Uh, but I have no clue about anything else, unfortunately. We just got a bunch of things. Some of them did not really became anything fruitful we've got some stuff we still need to finish figuring out uh and i just don't get it so yeah maybe something to do with a button i guess maybe screwdriver on the button yeah when we press the button we could not turn it off anymore so it's like oh okay yeah so the oil is something we we have a detergent for that but we can't use it because we need a cloth for some reason, which is kind of weird. We got a star piece item for this part of the wall, but uh, but it's too big, so it couldn't fit into that slot. And then we got like a computer machinery thingy, my bobber, that we can press the red big button on that just doesn't really do much besides like making noise. I don't know. It's kind of uh, hard for me to know what to do next so far pet 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 <laughs> penning it isn't having any effect okay I guess there's got to be something to this but I'm not sure of course I just need to throw it all you're going to do is break it hmm Hmm. Hmm. Praying isn't going to help. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why are we praying? What is this game doing to me? This looks delicious. How the hell is any of this delicious? Okay, I guess they're just dropping random stuff on me because I'm just staring at it terribly. I don't know, I'm insane, but I see a shape of a body on this wall, I think. But you guys probably can't quit. You guys can probably see it, but it's super faint. There's like a body uh, right, right here. So like the head's right here, I see. And then the shoulder, and then the arm, and then the legs kind of look like this. You guys can't see it, but this is my rough dra drawing of what the body looks like on the wall here. I can see it. It's kind of weirdly, like, imprinted in a weird way. It should be a texture thing, I think, but it looks like a human shape of it. Yeah, I see a, like a... Oh, maybe it's a... Uh, maybe you. No? I see... I do see something on it. It's kind of weird to me. I see, like, a V-shaped thing here, too. Which makes it really weird for me, because I'm just like, I'm seeing it. It's like a certain diagram, but it's like, I don't see why I can't see it well. Uh, and it doesn't tell you anything. Like, you can click on it, but nothing happens, because obviously it's not trying to give you a giveaway on what it is so far. There's no hint about what this area should be like, but... I might be insane, but I do see some weird stuff to it, I guess. Uh, hmm. Yeah, in the diagram in the in one of the archives, the diagram shows that there's a V-shape in the back. So this is like the on and off power thing, and then there's a V-shape in the back of us, of this particular room. So I'm just kind of confused. So yeah, if we press the button, it's just going to be like, and then just like what's the point of that whole thing then okay uh let me think examine a, gr a green bottle of detergent apparently it's tough to on the stains what have we not examined we examined everything i think a screwdriver i can remove screws with it yeah i've already examined all the items maybe the best possibility we got is combining things here like, just do the combine. Uh, 
No, okay, so not that. Combine this. I don't think it works that way. Uh, we already combined that. Tried to do it, I guess, I would say. No. Hmm. There's not a lot of hints about anything so far. Both sides of the strange room kind of looks kind of blah. Yeah, they look pretty much like stages. We get it. What are you doing? That's the door we came in through. There's no point to going back out right now. All you're going to find is the closed chromatic doors. You do know that, right? I kind of do, I guess. I'm just gonna try every attempt here, I guess. <laughs> it's the worst, honestly, because there's no hint of like what to do next. And, uh, yeah, like, even this spot is, like, dead to me because I got nothing left. You can view the room layout in the archive. Yeah, so that's the thing we got from this one in the last episode. Uh, the keyboard cannot type, but nothing happens. I tried doing the screwdriver on the laptop, I guess, or on the, the radio, but that didn't change much. Yeah, and the screwdriver doesn't work for the radio, against the radio here. Because we already got what that clue was, basically, the solution to that. Um, it's empty, there's nothing here, okay. Snack time! Snack time! Munch, 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 munch. Uh, uh, oh no! What's wrong with him? This is good! Oh man, it's so good. Snap out of it. <laughs> I don't know. There's this weird obsession about like this whole thing being weird up here. Yeah, the feeling dizzy thing was a comment we had in the last episode. So I'm guessing it's looping the uh, the dialogue and stuff. Uh, maybe it's looping the dialogue because it's like there's nothing better for me to do here. Uh, there's nothing I can do here, though, either, so that makes it even harder for me to know what's what's what. Yeah, there's really nothing for me to do, really. That's so weird to me. This is such a weird thing to me, because it's like, typically there's at least one specific something, maybe. I guess that's the problem. It's like this one specific something that I'm not seeing. I've clicked on, the, I've clicked on this part before already. It doesn't do anything, either. Which makes it even worse, because it just goes down it. Like, when it, whatever you click on this machine, wherever you click on this whole big block of a machine, it leads back down to that red button, and that's the worst of it. It's like, you don't get to see what the other stuff is. Unless there's something to it that I'm, like, missing uh, entirely, that I'm just, like, not seeing yet, and I'm just, like, blind as heck. But none of it seems to let you go anywhere else, really. I'm going to start clicking all around sporadically just to see if there's anything that leads me somewhere. But I'm like, I did not see the clue or that the thing is not there. This is the exit. It's locked. Okay. I'm pretty sure the silver key is whatever it is. I'm pretty sure this thing has something to it, but I just can't seem to do anything. You can hear my clicking if you <laughs> excuse my excessive, excessive clicking. I just don't see why it doesn't do anything. Yeah, nothing here, nothing there. Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything besides this too, as well. In, I'm reading it like right to left kind of thing. Uh, can I, like, I don't have a clue, really. So the frequently, frequency list is now not useful anymore. This is like a useless something. Rough sketch is what we saw. See, this is this is what I was talking about. The V shape is what we saw with, the like, the wall over there, but it's, like, not much. And then we already know that's where the red button is. So that is correct. This is the grease. Like, that is 
literally the grease that we're seeing, unless there's a something to it that I'm not seeing in this particular spot. I'm not seeing anything. The grease is blocking something, and I cannot get rid of it because I don't have a cloth. That just makes zero sense to me, why it just does that. Robot thingy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything I can look at that's like a zoom in, I guess? Uh... Goodness gracious, I don't really know. There's no clue nearby. I'm going insane in my in my my head right now. I do see this thing right here. I do see this, but I still don't think that does anything for some reason. It doesn't let me do anything with it. There are a number of things scattered all across a workbench. Yeah, I'm just not gonna read it this time because I'm just like looking at whatever I can. Maybe it's the battery area, I guess. It looks like something with a battery, no? Okay, so that's nothing. Maybe no. I already checked the sw the jackets already in the last episode too. They like they were the last few things I. Do you wear coats like this at work? Huh? You said you were you have a medical license, right? Oh um, yeah yes yes I do. Hmm. <laughs> it just sounds like she doesn't. Uh, nothing to it, I guess. I want to look it up. I, I kind of am super tempted to look it up. Even though I try not to look it up as much as I can. But, like, there's really nothing for me to... A desk with a ca uh, attached cabinet. Filing cabinet. There are drawers in the cabinet. On top of the desk is a computer monitor and keyboard as well as a radio with a... Oh, maybe there's... Oh, I'm stupid, am I not? Oh my god. The drawer... Ugh, they told me about the drawer, but I just never clicked because my head was like... Right, there's a drawer because they forgot to... They, they told me it, but I forgot about it because it didn't look like it was accessible. I think it's because of the coloring blend of it that makes it hard for me to know if it's a, an accessible area or not. No good. It won't budge. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, there's a keyhole here, so we could probably get it open if we can find a key that fits. Wait! Sigma! Don't you already have a key? Hurry up and put it in! That's what she said. Yosh! Yes! It worked! Now open it! Hold on. There's no need to rush. Oh. What the heck? There's another- there's nothing in here. Hmm. Well, if there's nothing in there, then maybe we're supposed to put something in there. <laughs> like what? I don't know, but it would probably go in the star-shaped slot. Yeah, I know where you're going with it. Yes! Yes! It fits perfectly. Did, did you just hear a noise? Yeah. From the middle drawer. Middle one. Huh. Oh, okay. Is there anything at the bottom here? Tablet. So I'm guessing we're going to combine this with the battery, I guess. I keep pressing outside of my... <laughs> I'm pressing outside of the second monitor. It's really bad. Cannot combine items. Examine? Huh. There's no response from this tablet. Is it broken? Part of this back seems to be held by screws. I bet it's... there's. That's where the batteries go. Oh, so then I just need to combine it with the screwdriver first. 
Yeah, it has a... Oh, we need two batteries, it seems. Combining this with the blue one first. So you put a battery in back... Uh, so you put a battery in there, huh? Yeah, still doesn't do anything. Maybe you have... You don't have enough. Enough of what? Do I have to spell it out? Batteries. Look at the indentation there. I'm pretty sure it can be... It can hold more than one. Of course. Uh, yeah, since we have this, why not? Can I examine the stuff on the right? No. Or on the left, I mean? No. Okay. Well, at least we now have progress. Then, rather than not. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Do you have... Do you think you can turn it on? Yeah. Give me a sec. What the hell? Something's coming out, coming down to the ceiling. Th those are... More robots. Yikes. Oh. No. Sorry. I just realized something was going on in my OBS for some reason. I was just like, I saw a thing and I was like, wait, what is that? I hope that didn't interrupt the uh, recording here. I hope it didn't interrupt it because I misclicked on some stuff on the right for some reason. Oh my god! They look just like this thing, like the thing on the table. Robots. Okay, I guess. What is he? Oh, he's holding the other battery. Okay, I was like, what is that red thing? All right, let's examine the screen. Oh, hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An authentication screen, maybe. It probably has some sort of security lock. Enter the right pass password. Worst of all is that it's an actual password. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, <laughs> maybe the red eye... No, not this. This one. The poster might have something, right? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of, like, what the heck this password could be. <laughs> because it's probably, re re like, related to this. Uh... Nah, I don't know. Screw it. I don't know. Not yet. No good. No good. I can't figure it out. We need to... We need some sort of clue. Alright. Cool. So that's... That's that, at least. I think one of the robots was wearing pants, I think? Yeah, what the hell? Why is he wearing trousers? Or boxers? Hmm. Uh, uh. This one's wearing boxers. Y yeah, looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's, uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? Looks like a, like a diary or something? Why the hell would you any, wh why would you hide a diary in your crotch? Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something. Whoa, damn. Way to cut the cheese. There. Way to cut to the chase there. Whatever. We'll, we'll know as soon as we get them off. Move these shorts of <laughs> obfuscation and let us gaze upon it. This so-called hose. Aren't you getting a little too excited about this? All right, here goes. Ah, Luna, I have I haven't done anything yet. He's still decent. Besides, when you cover your face, you opened your fingers so you could see out. How old are you? <laughs> ah, you two are driving me nuts. I'll just take him off. Huh? Hiya! And now we can combine this with the freaking cleaning solution. For once. Thank you. And he has a wet trousers. Is that it? It looks just like any other robot. That's a letdown. What the hell are you even hoping for? Yeah, I'm confused. Why is she why is she thinking like that though? 
Excuse me, I'm hearing airplanes outside, so I'm just confused for a second. Okay, here goes. You're going to wipe up the oil with the boxer, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. 120 volts, 120 V, okay. Good. Looks like it's clean now. I wonder what this is. There's something written here that the oil was covering up. A O Z I? No, you're reading it from the wrong angle. 120 V. Okay, so we need to figure out the voltage. Oh, there's a machinery here, yeah. So there was a machinery in that little diagram thing we saw. This came down with the robots, right? Yes. It's got a pipe running down, running out of it towards them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection here. There. Simply get the voltage. You can begin anywhere on the left and finish anywhere on the right. You can rotate a wire by clicking the corresponding square. Numbers in the middle of each wire indicates the voltage of that wire. Okay. Let's let me just give it a try. Oh, I see. So where does it begin and where does it end? That's the question. That's not 120, but... That's 180. hundred and fifty. I'm off by thirty. So I need to get rid of something with thirty, I guess. Get rid of that for now. Uh yeah, right here, down here. Darn, I need to like get the 10 in there, but it seems like it won't work, I guess. Yeah, I'm trying to like figure this out, it seems. That's 75. and five so that's like 15 behind yeah so I need to figure out what the heck the number should be like that's 135 so that's not helping either um, that's 170 still uh, that's 70, okay, um, I want to reset it, but I can't, it seems, okay, well, anyways, so 35, I do need to get the 5, I guess, I'd say that much, 10, so this is 95, 105 and then from here that's 150 right there let me get rid of these for now mm, or maybe it's like this no matter what 10 no matter what this is gonna be impossible to get to and this would be almost impossible to get to without having to have each other be close to each other. I think that, uh, I think that these middle ones all the way around here are much more easier to get to, but they're just like, they're not gonna equal the numbers that we need, which is 120 volts. So we need to figure out a way to get that to make it work for what we need in favor of the stuff. Mm. I mean, it would have worked out if it was like 30, 10, 60, and 40, I guess. 
or uh, oh no, we don't need forty. It would be sixty, ten, thirty, and thirty-five. No, no. <coughs> 70, 30, no, we need 120, so that wouldn't equal the amount we need. So I would say that we need like 50, 50 plus 65 would be 115. No, then we would be short by 5, yeah. Okay, let's stick with the 35 for now, because that's an obvious number, I guess, for now. So there's 150 here. So we don't need... We don't need some of those other numbers there. If I plug it into this one, it's 140, which is short by 20 more. We need, like, not 20 more. Yeah, because 35 plus 35 would be 70 right off the bat. So the only way to cut it off is by using not the 60, but the 40, basically. But the only way to get that forward is... Uh, Hmm. Can we? That's 180. Uh, that's 210. Geez. Can we combine two different pathways into one? I wonder about that. I don't think so. I think the bu the bu the puzzles built to not allow you to go for more than whatever it is. 45. Okay, so that's the 10. Hmm. Yeah, that's a dead end, I think, if I do this. That's a pure dead end right there. So whatever it is, you can only get, like, one node per row or per column, I guess. Like, you can... If you get a 10, you can't get this. Uh, or if you get a 100, you can't get... 16. It's like kind of like a node by node of the columns, I guess, for whatever it is. Very, very tough because it's like you don't really know exactly what is going to work and what doesn't work, but it's like you have to like figure it out slowly, I guess, or like thoroughly. 105. Uh, 40. Yeah, it would be, like, very specific, I guess. 145. Okay. Do this because I don't want to be confused. So I can't use the 5, but it doesn't let me go... 110. Okay, so that's a little slightly better, kind of, I guess. Um... I need 10 more for that, so that wouldn't work out anyways. Um, hundred and thirty. That's pretty interesting, okay. But no, not what we want. That's 115 right there. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, we would be short by the, the th amount we need. Okay, let me do this. And then get the 60 to go over here. Pass it up on the top to the 5. Maybe. That's 150, right? So then we need to close the gap of one of them. So instead of that, it would be... No, that's not closing the gap. That's just gaining the gap back. <laughs> 110 still. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we need 10 more from that point then. Uh, 
Um, oh, no, no, no. Let's do it like this, I guess. Maybe? No, that's... Yeah, that's funny to me. Okay, uh... 110. <laughs> oh my god. So we just be off by 10? What? Oh. But wait, can we do that? Let me see. Uh, I'm wondering if we can pass through the 10 then. Oh shoot, this is like really close, but it's like not it at all, I bet. Okay, um... Darn, this is really close, but it's like not it. No, get away from me. <laughs> I'm just like, get away from me. Ooh. Yeah, because it would just be passing it to itself. Uh... Yeah, that's not gonna work out for me, I think. Yeah, that's just a 45, which is not going to work out either. I don't know. It's like... It's close, but it's not it. So that's the hard part. Yeah, because this is like super close. But I need that 10. But the 10 is not coming along with me at all. So far. Um, And it's not near enough like i can't get near enough to get the thing that i need yeah because it would skip over the 30 technically to just go and do whatever it's doing yeah and then it just bypasses the whole like slot of everything because 35 is just basically forced to do the thing do the pivoting to it my god, dude. So weird. It's just so, so weird. Um, 70, 35. 70, 35 is 105. But I would need a 15, which I don't have. God, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. I'm still struggling with this. After 10 minutes of struggling with this, it's still going. I don't get it. I don't get the, the, the I don't get the puzzle still. I don't I don't see where it's landed still. Okay. Uh Oh, there it is. Why the hell do I not notice like this look? I'm just like I I sometimes don't know why. But it sometimes just comes to me when I'm just not thinking about it. Like, it arrives at the, the solution of what I need. Right when I'm just not thinking about it, it's just like, oh, okay, I guess I got it. Good job, Sigma. Oh, you're amazing. I've fallen for you all over again. Uh, uh, hey, what? Power distribution completed. Re Preboot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. Whoa, whoa, what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. Alright, well, it seems like I had a lot... I'm gonna have a lot of cutting to do. I think I'm done with this thing. That last announcement seems to be suggesting that I should push the power button on the console. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here for now. And we're gonna figure out... We're going to try to figure out what to do in the next episode for the remaining parts of this puzzle. Uh, we're going to try to get the gold document, obviously. And I'm going to go and try to get the solution to get the hell out of this room. Uh, so those are like the big ones for the next episode. I do apologize that this episode was a bit more of a slog. I just didn't know what I was doing. I just didn't know what I was seeing. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the full episode. Maybe it's a full episode of me just struggling and you guys can, you guys can watch how stupid I go. <laughs> how hard stupid I go. Uh, but we'll see what happens in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully in the next episode we'll finish things out. So other than that, 
Bronze. Out.